Okay, here we are in my studio, and uh, I'm going to work from a live model in this particular lesson. We have Noelle here, and uh, she goes to Gonzaga University, and she's going to pose for me tonight. And here's my watercolor uh, paper is mounted on a board, and it's on an easel. And here is my watercolor paint, as I've been using in the other lessons. So I'm going to start out here <coughs> with Noelle, and I'm going to start out by actually measuring. I'm going to extend my arm here and measure the height of her head. Then I'm going to come over here and actually, like the old system of calipers, I will make a mark here and a mark down here. And then I'll go back over and I'll measure from her chin to her mouth. And then I'll, I'll measure down here like that. And... We'll see what we can do and put the drawing together. Okay, so here's my drawing uh, using the measuring system, and then I, here is my model, Noel, and uh, and then again over here is my paint. So we need an accurate drawing if we're going to, whether we're working from a photograph or whether we're working from from life. Okay. Okay, so this is two 25-minute uh, sessions. This is where we're at now, so you can see kind of here how we're coming along. And then here's our model. She's trying very hard not to smile. She's doing a good <laughs> job. <laughs> okay. And again, so that's the way it works, and uh, we're, she gets a break right now. So thank you, Noelle. Okay, so this is, uh, we've got one more 30-minute session left. And that's what we've got so far. And here, here's our model. You can see her there. And again, there's the painting. Oh, and there beautiful. she's sitting. And there's Will. Hello. <laughs> okay, this is what we've got right now. Um, need a little bit of work yet, but our model's got to go. Will is, I think, getting maybe be sleepy. But I want to show you a little bit here on, in terms of if I go to a bigger brush now. She's going to leave, but uh, at this point I can start making up the background a little bit. I'm going to show you. Come over here. I'm going to go to my one inch flat. I've been using this brush here through most. This is the number six round. Now I'm going to go to this one inch flat. I'm going to show you a little bit how this works. We're coming here. going to get nice gooey paint and a little uh, cobalt blue, a little burn number here. And watch what we're going to do. We're going to come right up here. If you look at her head there, see the contrast between the back of her head. There you go. See that? I'm going to come over here and we're going to put that in right here. Okay? And look at how bold this is. That's kind of crazy stuff because you, we would spend three hours on pose. But that is, if you go, that contrast is there. So I'm, that gives you an idea what how it changes the painting. Now, for now, I'm just going to leave that because I, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I want to show you a little bit by increasing contrast. Uh, behind this, you can, uh, you can do, you know, start to change the painting. And her, her whole face then comes forward more as we blend this out for now. Okay? So, um... That's it for now. I'm going to work on it a little bit more tomorrow morning, and then we'll post it on uh, the video, and, and uh, Noelle can see what she looks like. Okay, uh, I think I'm uh, done with the painting. This is the next morning, and this is uh, this is Noelle, and so you can see her. Um, there's her eyes and her mouth. A little distorted there. Lens distortion. Anyhow, that's it. So that's painting from life, and I worked uh, for you know a good two three hours after she left uh, this morning. There's my paints. I used all of these colors. So uh, you know, if you want to know what colors I used, I mean all kinds of stuff: browns, blues, yellows, etc. And I used my little brush, and I used a half inch flat for the background, and that's it for painting painting from life.